hello guys welcome to my channel and in this video i'll be showing you how to open powerpoint slide right inside of free show so without further ado let's get started so now when you launch your free show right here you want to go to file up here and click on import now you got two options here where you have powerpoint featured now you have the powerpoint here under text category and then you've got powerpoint slash keynote here under the media category now let us see what happens when you click on the powerpoint under the text category if you click on powerpoint under text category it will prompt you to locate the file on your pc and then i can select the powerpoint slide and click on open now it shows this dialog box displaying that uh this will import the plain text at the show if you would like to use a PowerPoint or Keynote presentation with free show, please choose the media import option or drag and drop. So let's see what happens. So you've got this text. So you just load up text files right here. You see all of the things you've got here are just text files, text, text, text. Can you see it has disorganized the beautiful design you have right inside your PowerPoint. Look at what you have here compared to what you have inside of your PowerPoint right here. It doesn't make sense so let's go back to free show now what we have to do i'm going to delete this right here delete yeah that's gone now i'm going to go over to can you see it just showing on our um, output here which doesn't really make sense uh what i can do is uh i will just clear this click on this or just click clear all now if you go to file again and click on import you will, you will click on PowerPoint slash Keynote here. So I click on this. It will prompt me to open the file. So I will select this uh, PowerPoint slide template I have here. I will click on open. And immediately it shows this play button with the start text. Now, once I click on this button, it's going to automatically launch PowerPoint. But if you have PowerPoint open with the exact slide open, it's going to display the slide. And you know, this way it becomes tricky, you know, which I believe probably they are going to make changes or an upgrade to that because what I discover is that even if you have a different uh, PowerPoint slide open right here, and then you go into free show and you launch, you open a file right here, and then you launch this click on this start is going to open the file that you have inside of powerpoint other than what you have right here so it's more or less like uh something using like it's just like it's just like a window capture so that's what they brought in here it's just like doing a window capture of powerpoint it's not like opening an independent file or a file independent of PowerPoint software. No. So what you have here, whatever you have inside of PowerPoint is what is going to display right here. Irrespective of if there is a different, if if the, the file you import right here is different from what you have inside of PowerPoint, it's what you have inside of PowerPoint will supersede what you have right here. Well, I don't know. I just believe they are going to make changes to that and upgrade on that board. Let us continue. Now, if you click on this it's going to launch powerpoint but let's assume our powerpoint is not open let me close powerpoint right here so i'm going to click on don't save so that we can start from scratch now if i click on this it's going to launch powerpoint can you see it's launch powerpoint right here with the interface the the, the micro uh, powerpoint interface now is prompting us to select the particular slide we want to open now here if you see right here now you could see that on this new i've got um new slides that is different from this slide i want to import so what i need to do if i go to home and if i've opened the slide with the powerpoint software before it's going to show in this recent list here however if you don't have it open before just go back to, just go to file click on open locate the file and open the file that's it now because i have it open here i'm going to click here and click on open now so if you go back now you have the file open 
a side of PowerPoint. But if you go back to free show, it might give you an error. Can you see it's telling you no presentation loaded? However, let's click on this and let's come over to this restart icon here and restart so that it's going to refresh that window again. So now it's showing you that the application already running. So if you click on this, it's going to show you the interface. Now you got these two windows right here. Now this is like the presenter view why this is what you want your audience to see. Obviously, we are going to click on this one on the right hand side, not this, because this is not what we want to display to our audience. So now we're going to click on this. Once I click on this, it's going to go live. So the only challenge I have with this is it doesn't give us the chance to uh, probably preview what we want to project. It just goes live. It just goes live. So you don't know what you have on your next slide, but if you are the one who designed the slide, I think you already have an idea of how your slides are arranged. However, I think it's still good that we are able to open PowerPoint right inside our free show. But we believe there is still going to be an upgrade on that for things to work more better. All right, so let's proceed. Now, to control your slide, what you need to do is just use the forward and backward arrow key right on your keyboard. So I'm going to hit the keyboard so loud so that you know that I'm pressing a button right on my keyboard. So now I click on the forward arrow. So you change the slide. Forward arrow again, you change the slide. Forward arrow, it changes the slide. Forward arrow, it changes the slide. Forward arrow, it changes the slide. Can you see that? So that's how it works. And it's pretty simple. Well, the only itch there is that probably sometimes there might be a little lag, uh, which I think Maybe um, in subsequent um, 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 uh, um, version, there will be an upgrade. I really hope that will be done. So now if I switch to a different slide, for example, let's say this and I display uh, a song. Let's see what happens if I go back again. So if I go back, it will prompt me to start again, which I think that's a bit worrisome. So now if I click again, it's going to launch again and say presentation already loaded. So I might have to start afresh. So this might be what we might need to propose to the developer that if we can have, you know, at least if we can still retain the last event rather than refreshing and refreshing all over again, you know, it can be really tiring. But at least so far, this is a good software. The father is free is something to give them kudos for. So they've really done a great job, which uh, I celebrate them for. So this is simply how you can open a PowerPoint slide right inside of free show. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe to this channel so that you get to see more other videos and then to encourage to do more videos and make videos like this. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So thank you for staying this far and I will see you in my next video. Bye.